What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, spoiler alert. Don't know if it's coming to the US, but I would assume it would be. This is from Kyosho, it's a one-tenth scale radio controlled electric powered four wheel drive phaser MK2 FZ02 series ready set Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR KPG C10 tune version silver 34425T1. All right. So this information I did get from Kyosho Japan. So if you're looking for that insight and everything, uh, Kyosho Japan would be the one that you'd want to look at on their website and you can kind of see up and coming RC cars or whatever from Kyosho. Just kind of let you know about that one. Um, Cause I was looking on there on the website, they did do some updates to the website over the weekend, which I didn't have access to because I had gotten an email from Kyosho America talking about the Dodge Charger and that's why I did that video yesterday, but I had to get pictures from Japan, Kyosho Japan, is because Kyosho only sent it to us in a PDF, and I'm like, I can't extract decent looking pictures from a PDF for what I have. So that's where I went and I ran across this one. I was like, oh man, this thing's cool. You know, to my JDM fans out there, I'm on board. This thing is awesome looking. So let's go ahead and look at this thing in all its glory as much as possible, the pictures that I did get from off their website so if by chance you're interested in this car and you want to know when it's coming out i don't have that information right now but kyosho japan has it slated for sometime in april so if we're getting it i would say sometime in the summer would be it but if you're really super interested in it go ahead and click notify me when available put in your email address notify me and then you'll know when we're going to be taking those orders now i would I will be doing another video on this car when I know that, hey, these things are coming out. But for now, I want to kind of share it with you guys, keep you kind of in the loop on that one. So since I was kind of on the Kyosho wagon there, and uh, yeah, this thing's definitely awesome. As far as the year of it, I would kind of guess 1971, just because I've been playing Forza Horizon, looking online, and they have this game or they have this in the game for Forza Horizon 5. If by chance you like casual gaming or you're a gamer and you do have the Forza Horizon game, you can always follow me, OMG RC Bro. I'm on uh, Xbox Live, so you can check me out there. Hey, maybe we could kind of run around, cruise around or whatever. Maybe car meets, you show off your cars, whatever. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool. We get enough people to uh, have an OMG RC club, something like that. That'd be cool. But for now... Yeah, I want to share this with you guys. So take a look at this thing. Lots of detail to it. I'm digging it. You know, period correct looking rims. I would say it looks really good. Uh, front and rear LED light buckets. We can see them here that the tail lights square. So when I saw the square ones, I'm like, that seems definitely older than my 1977 Nissan Skyline uh, GTR, the 2000, I should say 2000 GTR. Uh, 1977. Um, I have that one for my drift car. And I was like, okay, well, this is definitely a little bit older. Thing looks awesome still. And Nissan, man, they were in they, they were in their element for a while. And hopefully they come back. But uh, this was definitely a cool looking car. And uh, definitely want to hear your opinions on this car. I think Kyosha is doing good. I like it seeing we get, we get American cars. We get, you know, we get our imports. You know, maybe we get some exotics. You know, something like that. Sometimes exotic cars don't seem to translate too well into RC cars. Like putting a Lamborghini body on it, sometimes I don't feel like, eh, looks a little too, doesn't look right. But I do like, you know, the economy cars or whatever you want to call them. Your normal kind of cars you would see on the road when you get into the exotics, like, yeah, those are pretty cool. It's kind of like the same thing with gaming. I like to see more of the everyday cars, even though I like the exotics too. But it's cool to put a kick butt uh engine in to your normal car make it a lot faster so just kind of cool because it's just a little bit more on the reality side of it all for a lot of more a lot of people to achieve to put something cool i don't know you guys can let me know in regards to that one see where i was going with that one i don't want to go down a rabbit hole and get myself all tangled up in that one but um yeah this thing looks sick i like it lots of detail to it kyosha is pretty great about when it comes to their uh, detail so big ups to them on that one. Now this is their brushed version of it. So again, it's gonna be less expensive. 
So it won't be the brushless system like the one I just did the Dodge Charger on. That was like $329.99, somewhere right, right there. Um, so this one, yeah, so it's going to be the under, I would say the under, under the 250 mark. So there's that. Uh, this is the shorter chassis, so it uses like, a, if you want to upgrade this drive shaft to be FAW209. Uh, but they don't come with any battery or charger. They're just using this as an example showing you guys as far as where the battery placement would be. And it would be a Dean type T-style connection. So other than that, uh, I am into RC drifting quite a bit. Um, still getting into it. I've only been into it about roughly six months, something like right there. So my feet are just getting wet. Um, so now I'm kind of like, oh man, it'd be cool if Kyosha came out with some kind of little drift car. Even if they didn't come out with a drift car, maybe a kit to convert the car, you know, to only rear wheel drive and a better steering angle, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, maybe it could be achievable with what it is now and try it. Maybe there'd be something I might try. I don't know. I may take this car and make it into a drift car, see what I could do with it based on the limitations, but there's not a lot of steering angle you're going to get out of this thing. So... That's going to be a little bit more difficult, but you could still drift it. You'd have to put a gyro in here and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it'd still be fun. It'd be kind of cool. So you guys can let me know, like, hey, just you know, ideas, drum around or whatever. You know, uh, like the body clips. I like to see this have some kind of universal. Uh, maybe universal. I think universal is what it is right now. But to have something where you don't see the body clips. Maybe if there was something a little bit easier to maybe mount the body where you don't see that uh, i know some of you guys are on the fence like i like the idea but when it becomes proprietary it makes it very difficult to put your own aftermarket body on it so i get that part of it but it would still be nice not to see the body clips i'm getting so used to not seeing body clips on rc cars that it's kind of like oh we're still stuck in that time where we got these body clips coming through our through the body shells so uh, that's that. Check it out. Links down in the description. You guys want to look at this thing, leave those comments below. Give a thumbs up. You know, definitely like, comment, subscribe, all that good fun stuff. And I'll catch you real soon. And uh, thank you again for watching. Peace.